So many people love having a bird feeder or bird watching. There was like this whole like boom on bird feeders during the pandemic. And I thought, man, I'd really love to get a picture of these birds like on their level. So you felt like you're just standing at the same level as the bird. And so in a way, this is an idea that has been in front of everyone. It's just a way to see these birds they see every day in a completely different way. My name is Carla Rhodes, and I'm a wildlife conservation photographer. My mission is to basically help wildlife, get people excited about wildlife, get them to respect and protect it. I live in the glorious Catskill Mountains of New York State, and it's absolutely gorgeous up here. Every day is like waking up in a postcard. And this area is how I discovered photography. I wasn't a photographer before I came up to the Catskills. I'm originally from Kentucky. I moved to New York City to pursue my dreams of becoming a world famous ventriloquist. I'm not kidding. My husband and I were coming up to the Catskills and I would bring my camera in. And it's like something overtook every fiber of my being and I just became obsessed with it. I read about trail cams. If I put up a trail camera, I can see like this hidden world. I got the tail of a bobcat and I couldn't believe that there was a bobcat. And then I got really into studying track and sign, figuring, oh, there's a footprint here, there's scat or something's eaten something and got better at placing cameras. And then I started reading about camera trapping. It's a remotely triggered camera, essentially, like when you walk past a motion light. And so I jumped all in the camera trapping. I'm taking photos of wildlife. I'm seeing, oh, people will like this picture, this and that. But then I remember in 2018, I went to Assam, which is in Northeast India. I saw this giant bird standing by the side of the road. They're five feet tall and I asked the driver to stop. I said, what is this bird? He said, it's endangered greater adjutant. Storks, they look like pterodactyls to me. And I got home and I just could not stop thinking about greater adjutants. And I found there's this woman, Purnima Devi Barman, who has mobilized an all women army to save these birds. And I just started riding her. And then I ended up in Assam in early 2020 for almost a month. And it's a project that changed my life. It ended up in a lot of places, you know, and it was really, really exciting. Greater adjutants are one of the most endangered storks in the world. Seeing the awareness you can raise for a species through photography just blew my mind. But psychologically at the time, I was in a lot of distress. And I had a pretty debilitating foot injury. It honestly really sucks because the pandemic had kicked in. We were all stuck at home and of course like I'm in this beautiful landscape and I couldn't hike, I couldn't do the things I wanted to do and it, it was very hard. I remember that her Nima's whole motto is if you take care of your backyard it will take care of you. So I focused on my immediate surroundings. Maybe if I put my camera trap under the bird feeder a mouse will come by, or even the birds, the common backyard birds, and I can really practice on learning to camera trap smaller creatures. And it's kind of how I came up with Beneath the Bird Feeder. You have to look at your surroundings, look where the light falls and say, I hope this creature shows up in a specific spot it's where you're choosing your focus point ahead of time, so the lighting and the settings, and hope it all lines up. If you see the result, you might be like, this is easy, but the majority of the shots sucked. They were terrible. Constant failure with this, constant, even getting the sensor to sense something that small. And it just became an obsession. And because I only had to walk a few feet from my porch, it gave me something to do every day. Certain shots would give me butterflies because for me, it was a perspective I had never seen. Junkos, hands down to me, were the most entertaining. It was almost like they were trolling me and like teasing me and, you know, stuff like that. Just showing personality and, and different perspectives are my favorite. Beneath the bird feeder's reception, it has just kind of snowballed and it's frankly been incredible. For me, it's exciting because 
If I get people excited about wildlife, hopefully they'll respect it and then protect it. And I hope this project shows people that you don't have to go far to do wildlife photography. There's really stuff all around us. You just have to open your eyes and start looking for it.